Hello you guys. I don't usually like starting my vlogs when I'm on the move. I feel like it's always nicer to sit down and kind of give like a breakdown of what the vlog is gonna be. But today is just one of those days that has gotten away from me. I worked all morning. I had to do something quickly in the West Village right now for Rubies. I'm wearing their new hoodie. They're opening a new West Village location. So I helped do some pictures for them. It's so humid. I'm dying hot in this sweatshirt. Basically the end of the photos was like me getting in this cab and now I'm taking the cab to Aloe for a workout. Paige is actually meeting me at Aloe. She's never been before and she's gonna do her first like New York Aloe workout with me. We're working out with Kyle because she's in the city this week for US Open and was for her pop-up. I feel like I'm gonna die just because I'm like already sweating but I need it although I bought the workout set that you like sweat through so easily so I'm not excited about that but I'm just running pretty behind. It's 12.50. I actually think I'll get there in the next 10 minutes and I can quickly change and redo the workout, but just quite a rush, a rushing morning start to the day. And then I'm getting a Brazilian blowout on my hair this afternoon with Matt's hair. She's the best ever. I recently got my hair colored but wanted to break up getting it colored and getting the Brazilian blowout. I did my first one ever like I want to say like May, so almost four months ago, and it was the best thing I've ever done for my hair. I literally didn't style it for three months, didn't need to use heat on it. I've used heat on it a few times recently to just make it really like blown out, but it made my hair grow like literally like five inches. It, it was just like, it's just an amazing thing for saving time because you can get out of the shower, literally let it air dry and it looks perfect and not using heat on it. It was like a huge thing. I literally also like traveling in the summer. I also went to Mexico with my hair and I literally felt like I could get out of the pool and it would like dry beautifully. So I'm really excited to do it again. Apparently they last like anywhere from three to five months. Mine has been I think five. It's lasted pretty well. It's definitely faded. I think like the first two months you really notice it. The first week you almost like it's too much. Like it was too straight for me. But then when it wears off like a little bit after a few washes then it's like absolutely perfect. So getting that again I think it'll only take a couple hours usually when I go to Matt's hair I'm there for like four or five hours so I hope it only takes like two hours but that's what's on the agenda for today last time I admitted this some people online said I was really gross and disgusting but at least I'm being real when I come into the city yes Williamsburg is not that far but it still takes 30 minutes to get from my apartment to Aloe. And if I'm doing that, I like to plan my week to do everything that I need to do in the city on the same days that I want to come to Aloe. And so sometimes I have to do Aloe first because you don't work out late at Aloe. They close around 2. And I mean, I'm here right now and it's 3.30. Thankfully, they had a late session so I can sauna and cold plunge. But I like to sauna and cold plunge when I come in and I like to plan anything else when I'm getting my hair done. So I bring face wash stuff to like get ready, deodorant, obviously, even though obviously cold plunge isn't a bath, but I'm like not as sweaty after the cold plunge, put my clothes back on, and I'm gonna get my hair done, and then I'm gonna go home and shower because I don't wanna go all the way back to my neighborhood and then come back into the city for my hair appointment. It just doesn't make sense. from Ralph's. This is my favorite tree after aloe. And now I'm heading to Sweet Green. I'm gonna build my own. I'm excited. I like don't get Sweet Green as often as I used to because I always get Roca by my new apartment. But I'm gonna get Sweet Green, eat it at Sweet Green, and then head to my hair appointment.
literally scarf that down. In under four minutes. Because I'm so fucking cold in here. I'm in cold line still. I'm shivering. You need to be outside in the warm. Okay, walking through Soho. Just passed by the Matilda Jerf pop up. So funny. It's actually in the same place as the Dairy Boy one that Paige just had hers at. I feel like it's like a pop-up space or something, but they both look really fun. I want to stop by Matilda's this weekend when Emily's in town. This is a line to get into fucking Supreme right now. New York is crazy, but I'm walking from the subway to my hair appointment. I didn't even know Supreme was like so cool. I feel like it's not. Also, I have my tube top around my stomach because it was literally squeezing my like chest area and it was so uncomfortable like I felt like I couldn't breathe it's too tight so proud of my hairdresser for opening up the new salon Complete. Or I know that you wanted me to tell you what we were doing. Yeah. So we basically did a Brazilian blowout. And what a Brazilian blowout is, is it is the gentlest form of keratin. So what it does is it goes in and seals the cuticle of the hair and actually repairs all those little small divots where you have like damage from heat styling and coloring. And it actually lays that cuticle down, gives it lots of shine and helps, helps uh, cut down blow drying time. Yeah, I'll literally wash my hair and it'll dry it really like, well. Like, look nice. at the so, Yeah, I mean, it's so shiny. So I'm gonna wait three days to wash it. Yeah. I'm gonna try. You can wash it, so the really great thing about um, Brazilian blow it is, is you can wash it right after we finish. Mm -hmm. And then, if you want, you can keep it in a couple days. I always like to say the longer you keep it, yeah. the longer it lasts you. That's a myth, who fucking knows, but I think it's really nice. Yeah. And it's gonna be straight for you a couple days. Yeah. It looks nice. And then Thank you. Do it up. Morning. I'm getting some work done at my computer right now. And I just shot an ad for Skims. I'm wearing this new cotton rib with like piping and stitching. I think this is the color marble, but it's really comfy and cozy and hot. So I'm wearing this. What are you trying to do? Are you gonna ruin my vlog? Yeah. But anyways, I'm gonna go work out with Kelly in like 30 minutes Although it's raining so I'm probably just gonna have to sprint to her apartment as quickly as I can Get a quick workout in and then James and I are going to the US Open with Paige So we are so excited to hang out with her and see Tommy play Don't know what I'm gonna wear. Hopefully the weather clears up because this is not the vibe to be having a honey deuce in Kelly just killed me I just had to, had to bring it. Yeah. She's no, away no, no, no. From, I was away from her too long. So. <laughs> All right, I just finished getting ready for the US Open. This is the outfit. This is a Neen Bing. Bag is a Neen Bing. Skirt I just got from Shop Bob. It is from the brand Interior, I think. And then I'm wearing my Chanel loafers and my Realization Par Sunnies made a complete disaster of my room getting ready but black t-shirt <laughs> feels weird that you're holding it people always want to know where your clothes are from otd yes universal works oh that's one of your favorites right yeah i think shorts are from are nice. end clothing i don't know who the designer is and then some little some sneaks and nice. Okay. Oh, do you want ice cream? No, we need no, a, I want a honey deuce and maybe a fat hot dog. No hot dogs. James, we're about to have the most unhealthy week. Please get two honey deuces. Thank you. Okay. Got our honey deuce. Cheers. Melon slap. Wow, it tastes so good. It tastes like um. Well, I mean, it tastes like candy. 
Having our second drink. I liked the honeydews better. Retread. It's like you're your honeydews. Yeah. 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 We got these. Okay, you can drink this. You can eat brown. Six spicy nuts. But they're not as spicy as they look. They're super spicy. Gracie's engagement party. I'm so excited. She has no clue I'm in Newport right now. James is here too. It's gonna be a huge surprise. There's gonna be like 60 people at the engagement party. I just landed. I did like a 30 minute sauna at my dad's house and I'm exhausted. I slept like six hours. It literally feels like Christmas morning. Like I couldn't sleep last night because I've never done a surprise before and I'm so excited. But I'm doing a face mask. I'm gonna go get a coffee to wake up and then start getting ready. And then I need to pick up this like huge bouquet that I ordered to walk in to the party at. And I really hope no one blows this surprise because I'm so fucking excited. Alrighty, the flowers have been secured. Oh, wow. Do you like them? Wow. So good, right? I'm crushed. It's much cheaper here than New York. Yes. Do you have a moment to say? How do you feel? I feel so engaged. I, the couple has been engaged. That's what I think about. Isaac, the what I the couple has been, hey the couple's been engaged. You look so beautiful. Mm -hmm. 